So you also have another game coming out called Smite. Can you tell us a little about what this game is? Yeah, Smite is a uh, battleground of the gods. So uh, for players of MOBA games like League of Legends or Han or Dota, there's a lot of things that's familiar. It's uh, a map with three lanes. You are pushing towers with minions. You know, it's five versus five format. But there's a couple things that are really different about Smite. One is it's a third person camera. So the camera is not way up over the map. It's right down behind your character. And you don't point and click on the map like a real-time strategy game. You use WASD and mouse to move. So it really has a lot more action combat feel, but still some of those MOBA elements. So that's what Smite is. I just got a chance to try it out right now. I tried a character called Hell, who switches stances between dark and light for both healing and damage. I thought it was a really neat idea, and it, it sounded complicated, but I found it really fun and engaging. Do you guys uh, follow a lot of decisions based on just fun factor? Yeah, like that kind of thing? Like, what are your opinions? Yeah, well, we do try to, um, first of all, we try to cover different roles that players are familiar with for the MOBA genre. So you use Hell, that's a support character, and as you said, she can she can both heal and do contagion damage. We also have more assassin melee characters, like uh, the Indian goddess Kali with her multi-arms would be an example of that. We've got a lot of ranged mages, because players love to play those. Um, an example would be uh, Zeus is a ranged mage using lightning power from Greek mythology. And then we have uh, tanks for people that want to build that way. So a character like Amir, the uh, Norse frost giant, is a big old tank. He also has some CC, some crowd control with his frost breath. Yeah, I, uh, I played with that character. I think he was one of your developers who was playing that character. Uh, he was really helping me out because he was taking all the damage, and I was keeping him up, and he was really doing a good job at keeping everything else controlled. So a brutal combo. And as you, you know, so basically that's what we look for is uh, gods and goddesses that'll be unique, that'll have unique mechanics where players can do a combo within the god itself, and then also work complementary with other gods like you did as hell with Amir. Well, I mean, so these are all gods from different mythologies, like different uh, backgrounds. They're all kind of all over the place. Was there any specific area that you wanted to always cover, or you just gather from anywhere? Well, we wanted to start with five families or kind of pantheons of gods. So we picked Greek, like Zeus. We picked uh, Egyptian, like Anubis, the god of the dead. We picked Indian, like Kali, who I mentioned. Uh, we picked Chinese. Um, an example would be Hebo, uh, the uh, water god, or Sun Wukong, who's a popular character in many MOBAs. And then finally, what I leave out, I think Norse, like uh, like Odin or Amir. So we currently actually have 15 gods here at PAX, and they cover those five different families, and we'll continue to do more over time. Okay, and even though it was, most MOBAs are very complicated with their item selections and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I found it real simple. They had an auto level up, auto item selections kind of ability. For someone who hasn't yet learned the game, it made it really simple for, for like an easy access, like even for a really complicated kind of character. Cool, yeah. I mean, we are very focused on making the game accessible. So there'll be a lot of people that are familiar with MOBAs and are learning the third person combat. There'll be a lot of people we think that are coming from different, maybe an action game or even a shooter game or an MMO PvP game, and MOBA might be new to them. So we put in features like auto level, and auto item build. So those are things you can start with. Many players, most players will start with it. And like you say, you can get a recommended good item build. You're not going to screw up and you know have your teammates you know screaming at you for being noobish because you're going to get a decent level of items. And then obviously you can turn that off over time. And then and once you learn and once you want to counter based on what your opponents have, we've even made that pretty easy. If you bring up the tab screen, you'll see, of course, the stats about your team as far as kills and deaths and towers and bots, but also you'll see the items that your opponents are building and there's basically like a, a small bar chart that shows that maybe Sun Wukong is going all out physical damage and you can see that easily and visually and you might want to counter that. So that's another thing we do to help new players learn. Uh, that sounds like really cool. So when's this game coming out? Where are you guys at right now? Well, so we're in closed alpha right now with a pretty small group. This month we're starting closed beta, so uh, people can go to smitegame.com, sign up for the beta. We'll start this month uh, letting a small number of players in, gradually increase it. Hopefully Q3 of this year we're in a point where it's ready, but like anything else we do, we try to make sure the game's ready before we call it released, and that's the process we'll follow with Smite. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for your time, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Thanks for playing.